Hey, thanks for watching The Political Report. So I wanted to discuss the California drought that's uh, going on right now. Um, you know, it's getting really serious. Um, I mean, the, the state now wants to, of course, limit how much water we use. And that's fine for me because um, I have, you know, drought tolerant plants, unlike my fucking neighbors who think they're like aristocrats and shit and everything is all lawn. That's all they have is lawn. I'm an aristocrat. I grow my grass just because I can. <laughs> you know, so sucks to be them that they're having to dry out their grass, but what happens when that happens? Your grass dries out and then, oh shit, all your other plants dry out and then, oh shit, fire fire danger you know and of course they're spraying constantly all these chemicals and that coats the plants and trees so when a fire occurs it makes it harder for them to put out and then they use all that extra water and it's just this nasty vicious circle um, this video is probably gonna be all over the place because there's just so many dots to connect there's so many you know ends to this web of craziness and um, you know I did a video I don't know if it was last year maybe the year before and it was talking about um, California dairies being attacked well then there was the California farms where they stopped giving them water because of a little fish called the Delta smelt and um, you know now we've got this major drought so the farms in California have essentially for the last couple years hit the shitter and they're getting worse um, Californians here you know the ranchers are starting to sell off their livestock because they just don't have the water for them and um, a lot of farmers now are wondering what's going to happen with their crops and if they're going to have a good you know turnout with anything and um, now the feds want to come in and take the water from the farmers for federal lands of course you know they only benefit themselves and it's just really scary times right now you know and um i i just don't i mean they just keep spraying and spraying they sprayed all day today all night last night all yesterday night before that as well um i've put up a couple videos if you haven't checked those out please do so um and see what they're putting on your food you know, it, it's unbelievable. And people keep asking me, well, what do you, what solution do you have? As if I'm the all fucking knowing, okay? Like, geez Louise, you know, I'm just giving you the information and you're like, what solution do you have? What do you, do? well, what solution do you have? Um, you know, <laughs> I mean, the solution that I have at this point is, um, please start growing your own food. I mean, if you're depending on the grocery store shelves to be stocked all the time, I would uh, say there's something, you know, you need to change your train of thought a little bit. Um, in 2014, we will see the greatest tax hikes, you know, we've ever seen. And two th funny, 2013, they said that too, but 2014 they say that they're going to um, everything is just going up it's just gonna go up the cost of living is gonna go up milk cost is going to go up um, taxes are going to go up Obamacare prices are going to go up all these things are going up and definitely food prices will be going up in 2014 especially if the crops in California don't yield a good return um, oh, and I'm sure Monsanto will just rush in to save us won't they but you know I, I mean it's just really scary I live in the farmlands and I see you know what's going on here and you know I don't I don't know I mean there's people in California who think that they're gonna be fine and you may be fine for you know a little while but if this drought continues we're fucked as a nation I mean California turns out so much of the country's um, food sources you know 
we might just see a major food crisis here if this continues. And um, if you haven't bought your, you know, non-GMO seeds, um, I suggest doing so. And I don't, you know, I'm not like this major farmer, you know, I'm not a, a this awesome gardener or anything, but, you know, I do all right. Um, but if you can get something like aquaponics or like one of those little plant growers, like a, I think it's called like an arrow garden or something like that, um, I would do so and get into canning and preserving things because I'm, I'm a little nervous about this and I'm not a fear monger. I don't like to tell people shit. Oh, go rush out. I mean, it's good to do it anyway, right? It's good to have food on the fucking table for your family in any event, <laughs> you know, whether it's there's a major drought happening or uh, earthquake or whatever, you know, you should just have it regardless and not just depend on the grocery stores. But I don't want to say that, you know, I, I'm not, I don't want to be a fear monger, but I mean, it doesn't take a genius to know that if plants don't get water, uh, like fruits and vegetables and trees that, you know, yield uh, fruits and whatnot, if they don't get water, you ain't going to have food. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out, right? Maybe it does. I don't know. We do have some shitty public schools these days. Um, but, you know, I don't like to be the one, the sky is falling, you know. Well, it actually it is right now because they're fucking spraying so much. See up there? Can you see all that shit there, folks? See that? Yeah, they've been fucking spraying all day. Hopefully you can see out the window. <laughs> if not, I just look stupid, but whatever. Um, but, I mean, come on. This is just getting insane, folks. We you know, the sky is falling because it's getting sprayed with chemicals every day. And that shit is falling on your freaking food, you know? And I don't know, um, how well you can wash that shit off your plants. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to be that person that, oh my God, shit's fucked up. It's good. I mean, you're all going to starve. I don't want to be like that, but I do want you to prepare, um, in the event that we are, you know, that California just turns into this big dust bowl desert, you know, um, I'm a little bit nervous about it and I usually don't, shit doesn't usually phase me like that. Um, I worry, you know, the feds coming in and take our fucking water to serve themselves, you know, that's another fucking thing. The feds should not have any fucking land, okay? I'm sorry. They, the states should have it. If it's in that state, it should be the state. The fucking feds should not have anything, if you ask me. And they certainly shouldn't be selling shit off to the United Nations either. But apparently, oh, most of the national parks or something are pretty much owned by the United Nations now, which is completely unconstitutional, but I digress. But anyway, I've kind of rambled on all over the place in this video. But I, I mean... There's maps out there showing where our water should be um, this time of year in California, and we're not anywhere near that. And um, it doesn't look like we're going to get near that either. It looks like it's going to get worse. And I mean, they don't even have rain in the forecast in my area. And remember, I'm in the farmlands. We need the water. We need the water. <sighs> so. All I can say is do the best you can and prepare. Um, I, I do believe this is by design. I do believe this is intentional. I do believe this is a depopulation agenda. And that's just my own personal opinion. If you don't believe that, that's cool. I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with you about it. We all have our own, you know, thoughts about things. But I, I mean, um, this whole area is a quote unquote sustainable area and it's not being sustained very well, but, um, you know, I mean, they're withholding water. Farmers are now having to sell off their property. They're raising prices to essentially screw ranchers and farmers. And, um, and that's not just in California. Michigan now wants to ban farm animals. They're looking at it. We have the right to farm, folks. We have the right to farm. And... It's absolutely scary what's going on with these sustainable cities and uh, Agenda 21. And there's a lot of people out there who keep saying Agenda 21 doesn't exist. It's right there on the UN web website. So, 
go research before you run your suck a little, you know, just go research just a little bit because um, you're wrong. It does exist. And in fact, my city recently became a sustainable city and it was really funny. Nobody knew about it. There was no talk about it, you know, at council meetings or anything. It was just hush hush. All of a sudden they sent a fucking letter in the water bill that said, oh, we've become a sustainable, you know, city. Yay. Excuse me? I don't want to be a fucking sustainable city. That shit's fucking crazy. I don't want you to steal my property because you want to maintain uh, sustainability or kill me because you want to save the earth. Yeah, folks, that's what this is about. Depopulation and stealing your property if you haven't looked at Agenda 21. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I've kind of rambled on a little bit, but um, start preparing, folks. It might just get really ugly in 2014. And it's best to start preparing now. And if nothing happens, awesome, okay? But you don't want to be that guy if something does happen, you know, and you, you haven't got your shit together. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Hope to talk to you soon.